Oh it. my god. First I lose I lose the thing on the microphone and now it runs slow. Everything's gonna go wrong. He it is the as an award, he was given this broken shield and a broken knife. You don't have the last one. Well, that doesn't matter. Um, oh, they're forgot to... Wait, anyway. Hey guys, welcome to another part of Ace Attorney Part 39, if I'm not wrong. Uh, the other part is going actually right now due to surrendering. I'm recording this immediately after, so let's do this quickly. When he chased after Joe the Dark, after Joe Dark and he pulled out this knife. When a prosecutor, he did not guard a pistol. This broken knife was the only weapon he had in this dangerous situation. But that, that can't be! Oh, uh, why not, Mr. Ashworth? Because if the King of Prosecutors award knife was the murder weapon, then the murder, the, then the murder and the pistol would be reversed. What do you mean? I mean... I'm so sorry, I'm so slow. This man wearing a knife would, be, would have been prosecuted under Marshall. Oh. Oh! It seems Mr. Wright has been a bit too eager to jump to conclusions. Wait! I I remember now. I remember everything. Witness? This is like hot one, everything's gonna go wrong. Mr. Edgeworth! What is it? Could you show me your evidence list again, please? His list? The one with that picture scribbled on the back? I knew it. This picture... I'm the one who drew it. What? You drew that? That's right. The list was torn in half at the, at the time I drew this picture. Ba -ba -ba. Ba, 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 ba. At the same time, I've been trying so hard to forget. It must have locked this part away deep inside me. I must have locked. Perhaps it would, perhaps it would be best if we added this to the witness's testimony. Can you please tell us what you recalled, Miss Sky. Yes, Your Honor. First, the knife meets up, and now the blue butcher. This should be interesting. <laughs> Amateur collection, sorry if you heard that. When he saw that man with his knife, I panicked. We were toward both of them. I think I knocked away the man with the knife. You said there was no there was no flash of lightning, and that's when I saw the blue butter! He wasn't in the room, but I'm sure I saw a shadow. I don't know which testimony it is, but I know what to present. It's essentially most unusual. 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 Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> Try impossible. Oh, okay, he's gonna say it for me. The head detective of criminal affairs didn't even sign him until this year. That would mean he didn't even exist two years ago. Yes, well, that's a chair. I'm gonna stop doing that. Yeah, okay. Yes, what the first baby in terms of cross examination. Stop! Please don't pursue this any further. Lana! What's the meaning of this? Please remain seated in the defendant's chair. But you can't do this. I've already confessed to the crime to the crime. Why can't you just leave it at that? Chief Prosecutor Sky. We have already come to this far. It's too late to turn back. Silence! The defense will now begin its cross-examination. Benith, please detain the defendant. It seems we are finally getting to the core of the matter. A master collection. I was gonna say Eva. What is that? Alright, I'm gonna speed it up again.
Who is this blue bad dude, really? I just might know. The answer is gonna shot you. Sounds like one of those quick by that. The blue badger hadn't even been there when, 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 when Emma drew this picture. I was gonna say Emma again. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's certain she saw it shadow. What did Emma actually saw? Click here to figure it out. The answer is going to shock you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is a defenseless belief that, what, that on the fateful day two days ago, there indeed was something that looked similar to the blue badger. Something that is now sitting in this very room. Ah, Mr. R Mr. Wright. In this room? Very well, Mr. Wright. What is it that the witness saw in this ignite instant? Please show us this mysterious blue badger look alike. Wait, okay, there it is. Are they all super jar? Super guy, did you went crazy? Ah, hear me out. The mysterious blue badger was in fact this. But that's... Er... Uh, uh, what exactly is that? I believe it's some sort of yard. But Mr. Wright, does not look anything like the Blue Badger? Indeed, it doesn't. As it stands now, it's just a plain... It's just a plain job. A plain job. However, what if we were to change our viewpoint? Our viewpoint? I'm going to show them. The correct angle to look at this form. Oh wait, now? Okay. Now, first we need... It's kinda hard, but... We need to put it No, no, no. O okay, it's fine. Okay... You probably think I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, no! Oh. Sorry if you heard that. Perfect! <laughs> now tell me it doesn't look like the blue badger said. Well, is this a miracle or what? Oh my god, time passed so fast. Eight minutes already? No one can possibly deny this jar's resemblance to the blue badger. You see, I'm a genius. No. <laughs> it can't be! The blue badger is everywhere! Order! Order! The defense has proven its claim. The mysterious blue badger witness on the day of the crime was actually this. Three hours now. Although we all enjoyed Mr. White's dramatic performance, one question remains. What's your point? What do you mean? So the badger thing was actually just a jar. That doesn't change anything. Objection! Wait, why did I say that? <laughs> I'm afraid that that I'm afraid that's where you're wrong, Mr. Schwarf. You see. You see, this changes everything. Indeed? Very well. Then, what do you call them? Please tell us. What's different now that we know the witness the witness saw this jar? The location of the motor. The location. Well you also changed the motor, but but not right now. Allow me to take this in turn. At the moment of the murder, the witness saw this jar. Not only that, but she saw it at a very specific angle. Now in this, where could she have seen this jar? Where? The location of the jar is shown in a picture taken on the day of the crime. It's not shelf in the office of Tamungan. But the body was found lying in near the Lana Sky's desk. The witness is fighting for herself. Oh, I almost did delete the video. Yes, and it's these two facts that reveal what actually transpired. You see, the sort of meeting dark and the sky did not take place in the sky office. It happened on the other side of the room, in Chief Gant's office. Are you planning the murder to remove the victim's body? From the Gant's office to the sky's office? <coughs> Yes. But will he do that? There's no reason. Oh, yes, he does. Exactly. If there wasn't a reason, he wouldn't have gone through the trouble. 
So we're going to go conclusion. You know, there was a reason. Do you know what that reason was, Mr. Wright? I finally figured it out. So this is why Lana tried to stop the trial. It's too late to quit now, though. Police are called the witness's testimony. She says she knocked away the man who was holding up the knife. In an instant, the yard was hit and flew through the air. Now tell me, what could have sent in the air flying? What could have sent the yard in the air flying? That would have to be the impact the man made when he was knocked into the wall. Ladies and gentlemen, if I may draw your attention to this picture once more. If the man was knocked in the direction of the shelf the yard was sitting on, what would he have hit? Uh, uh, uh. Zero four more! Holding a very sharp and dangerous looking sword. Yes. And since the man who was knocked into the armor was carrying a broken knife, he would have had to be to have been near Marshall. Near Marshall. Within the, the prosecutor award. No, Mr. Wright, you can't be thinking. Yes, there is another possibility of what actually trying to do everything that. Another possibility? I think you heard that. He did so. Again, mouth, the beginning of mouth makes strange sounds. Of course, the perpetrator would have had no idea, but nevertheless, I. I don't know if I can go through with this. Is it right? What's the matter? If I miss to split into two places as a defense theorizes, then the outcome is obvious. In that moment, assuming the, that Emma Sky was not away was that em, the man Emma Sky knocked away was actually prosecuted with Marshall. He looks like he was hung in that position. More like he was actually stabbed. You mean Mr. Marshall died because of me? And then a lot of nos. Or just really long one. No! Well, that was shorter than I expected. And you should pass that. Man, people in this game pass out really easy. I never imagined her testimony would lead to this. So it was the witness who took the victim's life. And then proved so with her own, tes own testimony. This is unprecedented. What? What are you saying? I'm sorry, Miss Guy, but given the circumstances, you're dark from the prosecutor, not Marshall. Ma Marshall, how do you think it was Emma? How did you try to pin the crime on her? Imagine that coming from you. If you recall, it was you who admitted to forging evidence two years ago. The reason you moved prosecutor Mar Marshall's small body. Was to keep anyone else from finding out about what Emma did, wasn't it? I'm sure you misunderstood. Sure. I have no idea what you're talking about. If you happen to have anyone believe your insane allegations, I'm afraid you're going to have to ha to have to have proof. Tell me, do you have any conclusive evidence that proves my sister killed Neil Marshall? E evidence? I believe to bet you don't. Yes, it certainly would be difficult to prove this with evidence. If we don't have evidence, then we will have to rely on testimony. I'm afraid that won't work in this case. Both parties involved in the incident are dead. We certainly can't get the people to testify. It has all been a wild goose change from the beginning. That the spirit of justice. They'll be able to testify there. Mm. Suche, 
this guy. Of course, that only leaves us with one possibility. Do you mean there's still another possibility? What do you mean, Mr. Ashworth? Yes, Mr. Ashworth, what do you mean? I mean the possibility that we think has left us a message. Oh, right, it's this one. For better or for worse, Mr. Marshall did not die instantly. He may have left behind the name of the person who took his life. Somehow. That's... That's impossible! Well, Mr. Wright, this is the only possibility left to you. A message from the deceased. To such a message is deceased? <coughs> I'm going to think back to the card record. Actually, that, that was my mind. Anyway. The young mother's name that the victim may have left behind is in the evidence. This message from the deceased is already in our possession. Mr. Wright! Would you, say, would you stop at nothing to both my sister and murderer? I think I skipped something there. Do not be mistaken, Miss Sky. Also, I don't think I will, I will be able to record all the videos. I don't think I will be able to love this one today. Our purpose is not to accuse Emma Sky of any crime. There is only one thing we seek. The truth. Okay, today's fire of January. This might just go on YouTube tomorrow. But I'm not sure. No matter how painful it may be. Now then, Mr. Wright. Please show us a piece of evidence. The copy is a message from the deceased. It's a jar again. Where is the policy jar? This is a message left by the deceased. This is that blue badger from before, right? Oh, is it going to just pick the killer's name? If that thing good, I'm sure it would. Looks like everyone's forgotten this is just a jar. A message was left here. On the surface of this jar. What do you mean? If you look closely, you can see a faint trail of blood on this jar. Sorry if you heard that. It looks like someone wiped the blood away. Yes, but notice, for some reason, the blood on some of the fragments was not wiped away. Yes, there is a line here, drawn in blood. So what you're saying, is these dots, or one's lines. Particular Marshall did not die instantly. He used a few precious moments left to him to leave behind a message. One that someone apparently wiped away. But blood more happened must have seeped onto the yard with the line shift directions. Now we have to literally connect the dots. Precisely so. All we need to do is connect these points. And with this message will be, be will be become will become apparent. No Mr. Wright, also I think everyone knows what what does it say. What kind of message did the victim leave us? Leave for us. Your honor? I believe these blood stains will reveal to us the answers. I have to connect these dots to make layers. There's only one thing the victim will have in different circumstances. <laughs> the murderer's name. This reminds me of um, the papers I gave you at restaurants. It, when you, uh, the when the papers the restaurant gives to kid give to kids. They have they have like a connect the dots thing. I love that. Yes, I still love it. Even though some are pretty obvious. What do you think? I came up with this is message. Now you sound like a kid. Like a kid. Mmm, yes. I feel like I'm teaching Hammer to a student who is all forms. Excuse me? What did I miss? Okay, what did I miss? You know, I didn't. I didn't even get it right. 
It's just Emma. Gotta forget about something? Oh! Did you like that? That. Or did, did I miss this part? Okay, now it definitely says Emma. I miss nothing. It's a defense attorney. A defense attorney's duty. Oh my god, again. It's a defense attorney's duty to prove his client's innocence. That's yes, all well, I've been thinking about his, his saving Lana. After all, after all my efforts, I never thought it would turn out like this. Emma. Emma. So this is the final message Prosecutor Marshall left behind. Of all people. She may not have meant it, but in the end, the one who took the victim's life was Emma Sky. <laughs> See, Morphy, can say I didn't want you. See if you can't. <laughs> Do you understand the implications of what you've done? What? What are you talking about? Two years ago, Judark was sentenced to death. He was convicted because of his final murder. I believe you were the prosecutor in the case. Were you not? Were you not? Ah! Yes, Worthy. Because of you, an innocent man was sent, was sent, was sent to death. Not only that, but you just forged evidence to ensure his conviction. To ensure his conviction. In the end of my life, I thought someone would make that sound. Just crest anger. But your darker really was a serial murderer. That's undeniable. I'm afraid that's not important. Did you know? Didn't you know? We're in the fairness of justice. What? We're merely keepers of the law. Sentencing a man to death is not like matter. Even if there wasn't any cover up or evidence for you. Ultimately, the responsibility falls on the prosecutor in charge. Despite what anyone may say, this fact cannot be denied. God, what's going on at the prosecutor's office? They might have sent an innocent man to his death. How can he just stand there like it wasn't his fault? This is gonna take a lot more episodes than I thought. A lot more, like, what do you mean, like, five? I thought, going to take, I thought it was going to take two episodes. The Gables pounding from the fingers. Unable to sell the crowd, the judge declared our hoaxes. Where this child is headed, no one knows. Except me, I know the, I know the outcome. I don't want to. I don't want to make a really long video because no one will watch it. I think I'm gonna say that. Um. Anyway, that's. I think that would be enough for today. I don't even know if I would. If I, if I would be able to love this video today, fifth of January. I think it will come tomorrow. But I'm not sure. I really want to win this already. I want to start the other guide. Um. Anyway, thanks for sticking around this long. And I hope. I hope you like the video. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Ace Attorney. We're almost finishing. Actually, I might finish it today. Uh, well, I'm not gonna do a really long episode, because then no one's going to watch it. I'm going to divide it in two parts. And I already know where, when 